Hey guys, welcome to another IWillMakeYear.com review and today we are doing Suzy Sport Lightweight Mummy Sleeping Bag and um, just by looking at it you see it's really small compared to average uh, sleeping bags you see in Walmart or Target or even Amazon whichever store it's. Um, that's because it's specifically designed for hiking and um, just for trails in general and you can fit in your backpack without a problem and you could actually even attach it to the side of the backpack but just make sure you won't get rain in it because then it would suck to sleep in it. As with any product we're gonna go into some really cool stuff about this um, bag and not so cool. Um, as I started even though it's so small and um, pretty portable the sack itself is a little too small for the sleeping bag and a lot of people are having trouble stuffing it back in. <laughs> Opening this is pretty easy you have uh, four latches like these and uh, all you do you just pull them out one by one I like to do only two that way the other two will stay attached to the sack itself and I don't lose them just grab one side of it and grab the sleeping bag on the other side you have also elastic thing that you could pull out which probably will be more helpful and you just take it out and voila so this is the bag and this particular bag is already built up a little bit as you can see I have little holes there's a hole right there and there's another hole right here um, I bought two of these and uh, my other bag uh, the lining ripped so I had to sew it so it's only my emergency bag at this time I try not to take it out unless I absolutely have to and I just use this as my main one and um, I would highly recommend getting a second sack as soon as you're buying the sleeping bag just in case you have it because it will rip no matter how careful you are, if it's not from wear and tear, then it'll rip from uh, stuffing it inside. As you start unrolling the sleeping bag, you see that it is quite long. And if you have six foot two, three, four, you have no problem putting in it. As with any, I guess, uh, mummy sleeping bag, you have your little hood in which you could put your um, little pillow in there and just snuggle. And so your head keeps warm. I like to put a hat on top when I'm camping during cooler weather and just kind of snuggle in. And it has uh, some Velcros around here to attach so you actually feel like a mummy and it has as well some elastics. So you could actually bury yourself in it and feel as claustrophobic as you want. For me, it's a little too much. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just have it nicely and spaciously open. So as we unzip it, the zipper is pretty much very easy to do it's great very smooth and it actually has two sided it's a two sided zipper and it has two sided zipper so you can zip yourself up while you're inside or the outside and I like the fact that it's black on the inside um, it won't get dirty or anything like that you do have a little pocket right here that you could put your volleyballs in when you sleep and it has a little zipper so you can close it and that's kind of useful when you are hiking and you want to just have your maybe your wallet or your ID or something with you or like a bear maze so, so you could just put it in and you're sleeping and it's right here accessible next to your zipper how you get out of and get in into the sleeping bag although it is designed for 30 degree weather um, it really depends on the amount of body fat one person has in order to feel comfortable sleeping in this particular bag in that particular weather for example I am pretty scrawny guy, I, I weigh maybe 130, 140 on that area and uh, I tr tried to test this out on a 30 degree weather and I was cold even when I had my, uh, my, my thermos on and my hat and everything I was still a little chilly so it really depends on what kind of uh, it really depends on how extreme the temperature gets in the environment you're going camping I would highly recommend this for more of a 45 degree weather, maybe even 50 50 might be a little too much. Maybe 45 degree weather, you'll be perfect, but not 30. It is a really comfortable sleeping bag to sleep in, but you have to be careful where you sleep with it. And by that, I mean, for example, I use this for my hammock, and if my hammock is not leveled properly, since the material is um, pretty slippery, and when I have my mat, I keep sliding up and down. You can see how easy it is to, to slide with it. And that, that is an issue when you are camping out like me with the hammock for example or when you, even when you're camping out with a tent 
with a mattress, but the campsites are have a little slope and you'll be sliding down. Wanting to or not wanting to, you'll be sliding down and that could be a problem. So um, make sure if you are purchasing this particular sleeping bag, make sure um, you know exactly for where you're gonna use it or when you are booking some campgrounds or you are going on trails or you are setting a hammock, make sure it's leveled because otherwise your night is gonna be uncomfortable. And speaking of uncomfort, when you do sleep in this particular sleeping bag, I highly, highly recommend you wear a long sleeve shirt and long sleeve pants. And the reason why I say that because I've tried to sleep with just in like in my boxers and since the material is so synthetic, your body starts having uh, sweating and you feel like you have hot flashes. You wake up all drenched and sticky. And that is a problem, especially during cold weathers when you wake up like that and then you have a chill coming in. So you want to have yourself covered all the way and then sleep in it because otherwise you'll just, you'll, you, you, you'll sweat. And that is a very negative thing about the sleeping bag for me in terms of sleeping and sweating. Other than that, it is, it's, it's really cool. I mean, if you're on a budget, don't get me wrong, this is what, like 40 bucks? Usually lightweight sleeping bags that you take for hikes cost run up to 100, 200, even 300 dollars. So for 40 bucks, this is a great buy. I'm not complaining about it because I pay very little money for it and you pay what you get. I'm just advising you before your purchase or after your purchase, what would be the proper way to do it, especially if you haven't used this or ever seen it or got a chance to sleep in this particular bag. A lot of people who bought this particular bag have been trouble um, stuffing it back and um, there really isn't uh, a standard technique to use to put this bag back in its sack. Um, I'm just going to show you the way I do it and it works um, two out of three times. And the way you do it, you zip everything back up all the way. Put the Velcro on it, tighten everything. You fold it halfway like this. And you start from feet. And you start basically rolling from feet all the way to the head. Once you're done with this, chances are one of the sides is going to be very thick, kind of bulky, while the other one's kind of more or less um, smaller. And this is the side you want to use to put it in a sack. Take our sack, make sure it's nicely opened and everything, and just holding it with one hand, we start putting it in. Like so. You see, it's it kind of it's it's like it slides in a bit, mainly because you took you took the the less bulkier side and you start putting it in. As you can see, you start putting it in, just nicely. Do not pressure it. Very easy. Take your time, you don't want to rush through this. Um, when I don't have time to put it in, and I don't want to do a poor job on this, I just don't do it. I just throw it in my trunk, and when I get home, I put it together then. So at this point, when it gets to this bigger part, it becomes a little harder to stuff it in. So then now you have to use a little more pressure but at the same time, watch out not to rip the seam right here. So you don't want to maybe push it in this area. Maybe you want to just give it more bigger push in here where there's nothing to rip. We're almost there.
and as soon as you have it in, before it has a chance to come out, just, just uh, grab the elastic and put it through. Sorry, got a little tangled up here. Great. Once you're done with that, ease off the cover just for a little bit. That way it's easier for you to cover it. Put the cover over it. Once you have all the straps secure, just start pulling them. To make this as small as possible. Don't pull it too much, just enough. There you are. Well, this was a review of Suzy Sport lightweight sleeping bag designed for 30 degree weather. And uh, Overall, I think it's a great backpack. I would highly recommend to my friends and uh, colleagues, especially when they're on a the budget. However, I would love to see the company make a better uh, sack because this one is easy to rip and I'd hate to go off and buy a third party sack or whatever and have it be a little too small or too big. I, I'd rather for the company itself make it a little stronger or just, just maybe half an inch bigger. That way it's easier to stop this awesome sleeping bag in it. Thank you for watching this review. Um, for more reviews like these of product and campgrounds, uh, you could either check them out on my channel or on outputmagear.com. I do have pictures available there as well. Uh, please comment. I, I reply as soon as I can if you leave me a comment, a question or a video response and um, definitely subscribe, you know, keep this channel afloat. Thank you. Have a good one. Oh,